what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, go, you go, you go. What's up, guys? We're not in the van anymore. We're in the Bahamas. So this week, uh, Steph invited us on her sailboat in the Bahamas to for me to work as a chef on the boat. So I'm doing a little little work, and then we're also going to be doing free diving, swimming with sharks, all kinds of amazing stuff in this paradise. Yeah. Yeah. So come along and join us for this journey. And she is our record-setting free diver, four-time record holder yeah. on a pole spear. Pretty amazing. Yeah. Now let's get this going. So for our first meal, we're having chia pudding with some fruit, which is one of my favorite breakfasts to have. And we have taco over here. Look at this fridge I'm working with here. We've got like a chest fridge. And it's kind of chaotic because you got to stack everything on top of each other to make everything fit. We're getting that chest fridge experience since we don't have that one in the van. I mean, I'm not a fan because <laughs> it's just so hard to work with. You got to take everything out, put everything back in if you want something from the bottom. All right, guys, we're going to quickly finish up because inside the boat, it kind of rocks a lot. It's actually been the windiest weather that they've had recently, which is really great for sailing, but not so much for hanging out inside. And you start feeling a bit queasy, so we'll see you guys later. Hi guys, so this is Steph. She is the charter captain of Sail LV and four time world record holder, all kinds of awesome stuff. <laughs> <laughs> well, so we just sailed from Nassau to the Barry Islands and we jumped in the water here, did a little refresher uh, free diving lesson for Taku and then we went and targeted some hogfish. So on our way to the spot where we were spearfishing, we threw out the fishing lines, caught a bunch of mackerel. Here we go, so Sierra mackerel. Oh, this is going to be tasty lunch right here. <laughs> yes! Way to start the day. Way to start the day. We got another fish on over there. Jocelyn's handling it. It's so light. You're just so strong. You're so strong. <laughs> another Mackie! Made this sushi chef really happy. <laughs> and then jumped in the water and he shot his first hogfish. Yeah. Already. 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 And the trip is, this is day one. <laughs> yeah, we just started. So we're looking forward to an amazing trip. Thank you for having us. Yeah, thanks, thanks for, for being here. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this whole week. Yep, it's me gonna too. It's going to be awesome. We got Steph's dogs. We got Zeke that's licking himself right now. He's behind the pole. And we also have Sleepy Head Finn there. Guys, we got lunch. Just some Sierra Macro Poke. Thank you, Chef Taco. You're welcome. Thank you, Chef Taco. That is so good. Yeah, so delicious. Wow. Can you believe we caught that this morning? That's the same. Yeah. Haven't had poke in a while. Ocean to table. Yeah. That's right. Ocean to table. That's right. I decided to make some uh, Almico Jack Carpaccio. Got a little serrano, lime zest, red onions, uh, cherry tomatoes, olive oil, sea salt. Just a quick snack. Yeah, quick enjoy, snack. guys. Go in. <laughs> so good. Oh my god. Fire. We just spotted a whale. Everybody just jumped in the water. We're gonna go see if we can swim with it. <laughs> that would be crazy. Go ahead, Josh.
guys, we just got out of the water because uh, we saw those whales. Well, it was just one, one sperm whale. Yeah. That was so incredible. Cool. And now we have a beautiful sunset. Yeah, we jumped in so fast into the water. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't even put wetsuits or anything. Yeah. Straight well, the water's warm enough that you can just jump in there and yeah. it's perfectly fine. I wasn't cold at all in there. Yeah. <laughs> it was cold. We didn't get to see it. We weren't uh, fast enough in the water. <laughs> yeah, we didn't go quick enough. It was just, but Steph spent like a good, like a full minute with the whale. Yeah. Up close, really close. That was awesome. Really awesome footage. Beautiful sunset. Oh yeah. Temperature is perfect. Tucker's been chefing it up in the kitchen all three meals. I've just been helping him, the sous chef. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, been mixing drinks and uh, salsas, dips. All kinds of kind stuff. Of stuff. We had sashimi, we had oh, yeah, that poke. Was really good. So today we're doing our longest sail yet. It is about a 12 hour, mm -hmm. it's about 12 hours of sailing. We've only done six or seven hours. <laughs> we're going to Tiger Beach. Yeah, we're gonna swim with sharks. <laughs> we're gonna swim with sharks. That's yeah. right, that's right. All right. All right, uh, see you guys with the sharks. Okay guys, well here goes nothing. We're about to go dive with some tiger sharks. If, uh, if I don't make it, can you remember to water my plants? Uh, sure. I'll haunt you. <laughs> <laughs> but knowing your luck, they're gonna come straight at you. I know, I know. That's why I'm extra scared. <laughs> Not just normal scared, just extra scared. Just extra. We'll see it's what always, happens. Every time, it's yeah. always me. Yeah. Time to do it. Now or never. Amazing. Is it insane? just got out of the water. It was a crazy experience. <laughs> <laughs> I would say it, was, it wasn't that crazy. It was pretty, um, it was calm. It was very calm. I had a couple reef sharks come chase me from, I'd go, I'd go down and then I, when I kick back up, they kind of like the fins, I guess, and then they'll come like chasing up. <laughs> that was pretty cool. And the one where I was filming Mike, give him a fist bump, and then he was like, pointed behind me, turned around, and bam, there's a shark right there, the lemon shark. And I was like trying, and I tried to touch him, but he was, he kind of like avoided me. He was like, no thanks. <laughs> but no, I thought it was super cool. And that tiger shark was nice, man. You can tell which one the tiger shark is. It's just way bigger than the rest of them. And then I got fairly close to him, tried to take a little selfie with him. Yeah, I got, I got decently close, maybe, maybe five to six feet away. Happy about that. that was cool. That it was, was really cool. cool, but really scary, in my opinion. Was, he, was he was not afraid at all. <laughs> yeah, I was stoked about it. I'd do it again, for sure. I stayed in for just half the time, I think. Mm -hmm. I got out once uh, one shark got too curious. And she never dove down. Yeah, I didn't dive down at all. Surface. 
Yeah. Okay. And then there was when a couple it, surface sharks though. Yeah, when those two came too close, and then I choked on the water, and then choked I was trying the not to panic. Oh. Yeah, it's because they came really close, and I tilted my head to keep an eye, and then the water just went straight in as I yeah, yeah. took a deep breath. Yeah. So then like that the worst. freaked me out with them so close, and yeah, it was just like don't panic, don't panic, don't panic. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. The craziest experience? I don't know. I don't know which one's crazier, the bear or the sharks. I think the bear is crazier. <laughs> well, then. This is kind of calculated, you know. It's, a, it's like a calculated risk. And the bear is uh, is too, I guess, in a certain way. But I just like that bears can see you, so they don't have to come bite you to I figure out. I feel like they could see. Like they say they, they don't have good eyesight, but whenever I try to like reach out to them, they'll they'll kind of like. Well, they go said they have sensors. Me. A lot of sensors Maybe it's just that let them know. But I feel like when I, whenever I try to swim towards one, they'll like turn away. Yeah. Because so, I wanted to touch one. I could have touched one. I did not want to. <laughs> I had my hand like all. No. Because I also was like, when do I yeah. push? I don't know when, when do I push. push? When they get too close. Yeah. It's kind of like the pepper spray with the bears. Like when when do I pepper spray the bears? Pepper spray. Yeah. When they get yeah. too close. <laughs> The wind is too close, too Anyways, close. we're gonna go out to an island and we're gonna have a bonfire tonight. Yeah. Hang out, relax, have some food, cook some delicious meals over the campfire. Uh, we'll see you guys there. Also, if you guys don't know what we're talking about when we were mentioning the bear, you can watch that on the main channel, Outdoor Chef Life. So we'll see you guys nice. at the bonfire. Don't be scared, get in a little bit further. And put your hand down underneath. And it's gonna come over top of you. Yeah. Oh, that feels so funny. <laughs> Do come these back. even sting? Huh? These ones sting or no? No. They have stingers, okay. but they don't use them. They don't have any reason to. Put your hand down. Kind of splash around a little bit. There you go. Oh, so funny. <laughs> Isn't that cool? hard to keep track on a boat. All right, now I'm just perching on my spot. Let's see. The water here is so incredible. It is so amazing. And yesterday was an awesome day. We managed to get so much done in one day. You know, we went spear fishing, went shark diving. We went to cook on a deserted island. We sailed. It's it's been really great. Taco's been cooking up some amazing dishes and the weather's been amazing. I think today it might rain later, but we'll find out. And I think today we're gonna go diving with sharks again. Don't know that I wanna do it a second time, but we'll see. Taco definitely wants to do it again. Um, the footage is pretty amazing, isn't it? We're having such an amazing time here. We're only supposed to be here for five days, but we're already talking about extending our trip because it's just, it's awesome, like it's the best water we've ever been to and this is probably one of the best experiences that we've had. Unfortunately, we can't stay here as long as maybe we would want to just because we do have a lot of plans up in the Bay Area. We do have a trip to Oregon coming up because we want to try to get morels. And then we'll be going to Alaska, which we're super excited for, though this place is super amazing as well and I wish we could stay for like a whole summer because that would be super amazing. For now, I'm just gonna go help Taku make breakfast for everyone on board and enjoy this beautiful morning we're having.
I ended up hopping back into the water with the sharks. It was a pretty cool experience. I just came out, Taku and everyone else is still in the water. Taku's really committed to trying to pet one. And I mostly just stayed on the surface because I didn't really feel too comfortable diving down. I'm also not really an experienced diver, so I don't know how to quietly dive down. And that's kind of the key here is you don't want to be kicking up any water or else it kind of just makes them curious to come check you out, which is just going to make me even more nervous. And it's starting to rain. Oh my gosh, I can see the water coming. Ooh. Holy crap. Oh my gosh, it's a downpour. This is insane. Oh my gosh. All right, guys, it's raining really hard. I have to put the camera away or else it's gonna get super wet. All right, Taco just came out of the water. Woo! Woo! That was so cool. I got real up close and personal and took some selfies of this tiger shard. Uh, uh, one, one time I went down and there was like two or three tiger sharks around me. So I was like, wait, which one am I taking? <laughs> and he was like, wait, there's one there, there's one there. Oh, shoot. <laughs> so I was surrounded. This was actually like the best day of uh, free diving I've had. Like, in terms of technique and you know feeling comfortable in the water because uh, usually i get like really bad uh ear pressure like i always had a uh, difficult time equalizing <laughs> uh, i had always had a hard time equalizing going down uh, but today i felt the most comfortable out of any day and that's thanks to staff um, yeah she gave me this technique that nobody else has given me you close your airway here like you're kind of like dry heaving like oh and then and you plug your nose and then whoop, and you just pump your pump air up with your tongue and i use my jaw too whoop. and that really like that's a game changer that's a game changer because before i've just been doing the bump salva i think it's called and uh hasn't worked well for me that one but this technique works much better uh, so for any of you struggling with equalizing while free diving uh, this was what an incredible experience diving with tiger sharks and I felt comfortable in there with sharks isn't that crazy like I shark diving with sharks was never on my bucket list but I just checked it off and that was insane oh my gosh Woo! Time for some lunch. I also just wanted to say if our video of shark diving has inspired you guys and you guys want to go shark diving, just make sure you go with someone who knows what they're doing and make sure to ask them if they chum the water before you dive or while you're diving because that is incredibly unsafe. And Steph was saying that people do do that. As you saw in our video, they're just kind of swimming around. So you want them in that calm state. You don't want them in that feeding frenzy because that's when you could get injured. And I think that's going to wrap up our video, but we are extending our trip. We already extended it, so we'll probably have more videos from the Bahamas. So we'll see you guys then.